get us out of. God has a way that is different than ours. God looks into eternity where we can only see what's before us. God plans are far greater than our plans. And I'm here to tell you abortion is not the answer. Divorce is not the answer. Even though it happens in life, it is not the answer. The answer, the only answer is Jesus Christ and him crucified. And how are people going to hear without a preacher? I pray that God will raise up pastors and preachers and, and Christians that will not be afraid to stand up and say, Thus said the Lord. Praise God. That year the Supreme Court declared abortion on demand to be a woman's right. Ruling in favor of the plaintiff in the Historic case Roe versus Wade. Since that time, not only has more than 50 million babies been mercilessly slaughtered, but federal taxpayer dollars have been sent overseas to facilitate abortion of the man in third world and developing countries. The movie Silent Scream, Silent Killer, what was the name of that movie? Silent Scream. That actually took a camera and went into the womb of a baby being aborted and it recorded the sounds of this baby. I call it a baby. Some have called it a fetus and you told me they changed the name. It's not a fetus. What do they call it now? Oh, what a hallelujah. Psycho mumbo jumbo. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. It's a baby. The moment it's in the womb, the moment of conception, it is a baby. In fact, the Lord told Jeremiah, he said, before I formed thee in the womb, I knew thee. Praise God. And when this baby was being killed, we might as well stop cleaning it up, folks. When this baby was being killed, the cameras were rec was recording the sounds of this baby being torn apart. Because they have so many different evil ways of killing children. Now, it's, you, can, you can have an abortion up to your ninth month of pregnancy. Nine months and you can kill the baby still. But if the baby is born and then the doctor's killing it's called murder. <laughs> Hallelujah. Somebody, somebody is sick. Praise the Lord. Amen. Since that time, there have been further and greater steps further away from God and towards abomination. In the 1980s and 1990s, laws have been passed in several states allowing for the murderous practice of assisted suicide, which is one step away from genocide, meaning that when you are no longer of any worth or importance, you will be killed. We are a step away from that. In California, there was a... There was a, 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 it was given to school age kids. And in it, I can't remember the name that they called it. They gave a scenario where somebody had to, to die. There were three people in a boat. This is how they, how they brought forth their little scenario. And they said that in order for the two to live, somebody had to die. And they gave a choice of who would you throw overboard? Listen to these choices. An old crippled man. <laughs> a famous actress. And a U.S. Senator. Who of the three would you throw overboard? <laughs> Praise the Lord. Conditioning the minds. Conditioning the minds. I would have told them I wouldn't throw anybody on board. One of us would get out and push the boat while two sat in the boat. When they get tired, somebody else will jump out and push the boat. We will make it. You see, God has a way of being able to make it. That is a whole lot higher than our little stupid concoctions. God's ways never change. And I'm so glad that the scripture said, Jesus Christ the same yesterday and today and forever. God still is able to save unto the uttermost today. And I am so glad because I'm a recipient of his salvation. He saved me. He changed my life. He gave me joy. Hallelujah. I'm set by the power of Almighty God because God did not give up on me. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. 
judicial decision, decisions made legalizing gay marriage, decisions made repealing sodomy laws and rules declared protected pornography of many and various sorts as free speech under the First Amendment to the United States Constitution. A young lady graduated from a prestigious college. I don't remember whether it was Harvard or Yale. I can't remember which one it was. But their tuition fees for four years are steep. I mean, they are steep. And they asked her, they said, they said, how did you pay for your college? They said, you came from a very poor family, but yet still you pay. You didn't get a, a student loan. You didn't get a, a, a grant. You didn't get a scholarship. They said, how did you pay for four years of college at this school? She, the young lady said, I ran a pornographic site on the internet. I paid for my college tuition, books, room, and board through the money I made off of this site. Hallelujah. That's where we are, folks. That's where we are. Even the scientists are telling us that pornography is like a drug. Once it gets in your system, it stays there unless Jesus Christ removes it. I'm not talking about going to, to what do they call it now? Um, it's, they got AA, which is alcohol anonymous. They got NA, which is narcotics anonymous. And they got, um, for internet pornography, they call it, okay, PA, I don't know, something, whatever it is. It ain't going to help you. Jesus Christ clean you up so you won't have to be telling folks, I'm an alcoholic, I always will be an alcoholic. Hi, my name is James. James. Hi, James. Hallelujah. Praise God. I'm here to tell you I'm saved by the blood of Jesus Christ. I once was a low down, dirty sinner, but by the grace of God, I am saved right now. I don't have to keep telling folks, oh, I'm still a sinner. Oh, I'm still bad. Oh, I'm no good. I can tell them I'm saved by the blood of Jesus Christ. He's coming to my heart and he's changed my life and I got saved. I'm still saved and I always will be saved because Jesus Christ lives on the inside. And I'm not trying to give any credibility to that ungodly doctrine of unconditional eternal security. Hallelujah. If you want to get out, you can get out. But I want to stay in. Hallelujah. This is good. No, you couldn't pay me to get out of this. You couldn't drag me out of this. Serving Jesus Christ has been the greatest event of my life. There is nothing like serving Jesus Christ in my worst day, in my hardest time. It's been better than anything the devil has. I got to keep on. Otherwise, I'm going to be here forever and forever and forever. Hallelujah. Amen. In the U.S. media, Sex has become a casual thing in media and in advertisement. The number one selling strategy. <laughs> put, a, put a woman up there to sell a bar of soap. Put her in a, 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 a ankle long dress holding up a bar of soap. Nobody's interested. Put this same woman up there, holding up the same bar of soap. Put her in a bikini, and everybody is interested. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. What does that have? To? Amen. Amen. I got to keep on. Praise God. Hallelujah. Homosexuality, once shunned as deviant and declared to be a mental illness, is now accepted by more and more people with the mainstream media in the United States upholding homosexuality as a desired type of life. A desired type of life. The number of people that, that have now crossed over into the homosexual lifestyle is staggering. Staggering. Folks were, the, the, the recent Grammy Award that they had, See, I read a lot of this stuff on the Yahoo highlights, on the Yahoo News, because it gives me a quick snippet of news all over the world. The number of people that were showing up with their, with their, what, what do they call them now? They don't call them boyfriend. They call them some partners. Yeah, hallelujah. Showing up with their partners. 
Praise God. Men and men showing up with their partner taking pictures together. Women and women showing up with their partners taking pictures together. God help us. Hallelujah. Do you know that that's one of the sins that have been in every nation 